What's up? I'm that one guy from 87, and today I'm going to be changing out the low beam bulbs on my 2007 Chevy Silverado. The bulbs I'm going to be using today are these H11 Auto Fill LEDs. The bulbs that I have been using are the Sylvania Silver Star Ultra H11s, which were pretty good, but they're about 50 bucks or $40 plus for the pair at the store. Which these I got on Amazon for about $22. So to get to the driver's side bulb, it's pretty easy. Just stick your hand in here, give it a quarter turn to the left. And it should just pop out. Once you get it out, you're gonna have two tabs, which I only have one now from where I snapped the other one off. But yeah, you'll have two tabs, one on each side. Just gently pull them back. And then disconnect your bulb. So before putting back in the driver's side bulb, you can give it a test if it doesn't come on. Disconnect. And plug it in the other way. So with the LED bulb, it's a little bit bigger. So I'm probably gonna go in at an angle, uh, put the bulb in, and then connect the power to it. All right, so with this bulb, it definitely was a much tighter fit. I had to rotate it several times to actually get it in there, but I was able to get in there and then give it a right hand quarter turn and secure it into place. Now it's time to reconnect the electrical. So you grab the extension from the LED and just snap it back in. Alright, so to get to the passenger side bulb, it's going to be right here, you can see it, but you really can't get your hand in there, and with the LED being so big, I would think it would probably be almost impossible to stick it in there, unless you just really, really tried. So what I'm going to do is take the top of the airbox apart, pull the bottom out, and then go in from behind it, which you can also disconnect this electrical, take the clamp off take the whole air box out or you can leave it all connected and take the whole air box out or move it backwards which I find it gives you limited room so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the top off so to take the top off you have four screws one on each corner I'm gonna use a t25 bit take them halfway out so that way they're still in the cover but I can disconnect the cover and then pull the bottom out so once you get it loose, take the top off. Take your filter out. And then the bottom should pop out. Now you have plenty of room to get your hand back there. Alright, so now you reach in there. Give it a quarter turn to the inside and it should come right out and then also with the passenger side and driver side make sure the gasket comes out with the old lights and after that disconnect your electrical which on this side it just had a uh, push down button and take your old light out so before installing the LED bulb on the passenger side, because I had to take the airbox out, I'm going to go ahead and plug it up, make sure it works, and then stick it, stick it in there. Alright, so we got it plugged up. Now we turn it on, make sure it comes on, and then we'll put it all back together. Alright, so it's working. Let's put it back in there. 
All right, so I should be able to just slide it in like with the driver's side, but I'm thinking because of a wreck I had, this piece of metal is bent right here. Just enough that's keeping the butt end of the light from going through. So I'm gonna have to pop the fixture out real quick and slide it in there, which hopefully that's not the issue if this piece of metal wasn't bent. All right, so I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter. Take these two bolts out and hopefully they'll give me enough play room to get it in there. All right, so now with this bolt out and this bolt out, I can push it forward just a little bit. Go ahead, put it in there sideways or at an angle line it up and then give it a quarter turn to the outside and then it's in there pretty pretty snug so now all I gotta do put these two bolts back in put the air box back together and this side should be good to go all right so I'll put my two bolts back in All right, so when you put the bottom of the air box back in, you'll have two pop-ins right there and right here. And then you'll also have a piece that will sit against the frame next to the passenger side on the outside. And then also make sure you line the foam piece up with the hole for your air intake. So we'll slide the bottom piece back in there. Make sure the foam piece goes around the hole for your air intake. And then two pop-ins. One. And then two. And then it should be in there nice and snug. Slide your filter back in. And then get the top to snap back on. And then all you have left is just to tighten your screws down. And then also, while removing your airbox and putting it back in, you want to make sure you're careful around your electrical right here because you don't want to mess any of this up. So I'm that one guy from 87. I just replaced the low beam headlights in my 2007 Chevy Silverado with LEDs. And I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.